can the war in Ukraine be categorized as a proxy war facilitated by the United States, which started during the Obama administration? It's been claimed by credible commentators. I've myself hesitated from drawing that conclusion, but it's pretty hard to avoid. I mean, you know, we can speculate about it, but it's harder and harder to avoid when you look at the clear facts. Almost all of them suppressed, incidentally. We're not allowed to talk about it. Uh, I mean, we can find out. It's not secret. You know, you want to read uh, William Burns's memoirs, you can read them. Uh, but uh, you want to read the White House uh, web page, yeah, you can read it. But uh, it's mostly kept from the population. I should say I've been around a long time. One of my qualifications, maybe I'll put it on my CV someday, is that I'm probably the only living person who condemned the Munich agreements in print as soon as they were signed. Okay, so some experience. I have never seen censorship and repression like today. I mean, even just the blocking of Russian voices, which is insane. Why shouldn't we know what the Russians are saying? Why do I have to go to Al Jazeera to find out what the Russian Prime Minister is saying? That's the kind of thing we ought to know. If they have a proposal for ending a blockade that's killing millions of people, why shouldn't I know about it? Well, the censorship is so extreme that you can't. Almost nobody knows unless they go to something like a, you know, marginal libertarian website, which happens to be telling the truth. Uh, it's crazy. And not only that, if you bring it up, just talk about it, you're immediately vilified, a Putin supporter, a commie rat, you know, you want appeasement, you want to sell out and so on. It's uh, pretty astonishing. Uh, I tried to find some statesman in the United States and Britain, the two warrior states, who was actually talking some sense on the need to try to seek negotiations instead of undermining them. I found two, Jeremy Corbyn in England, who was driven out of the Labour Party, like Keir Starmer, for daring to say something sensible. In the United States, I found one, Donald Trump. I happened to mention this in a talk that elicited a storm of fury from the internet left. How can you dare tell the truth about Donald Trump? Total monster, of course. But he happened to be right. Okay, should we keep it secret? I mean, have we reached that level of totalitarianism? internal totalitarianism that we just can't talk about facts because they're the wrong kind of facts. Well, apparently we have, and it doesn't help anyone. It certainly doesn't help Ukrainians. Uh, following the Afghan model, fighting Russia to the last Afghan doesn't help Ukrainians, doesn't help the rest of the It's the genocide in Kosovo. We know from the Western documentation what it was. Uh, in the year prior to the bombing, according to just the Western sources, uh, about 2,000 people were killed. Uh, killings were distributed. Uh, a lot of them were coming. In fact, according to the British government, which was the most hawkish element of the alliance, up until January 1999, a majority of the killings were by KLA guerrillas who were coming in, as they said, you know, to try to uh, incite a harsh Serbian response, which they got, uh, in order to uh, appeal to um, Western humanitarians to bomb. Uh, well, we know from the Western records that nothing changed between January and March. In fact, up until March 20th, they indicate nothing.
March 20th, they indicate an increase in KLA attacks. Uh, but uh, it was ugly, you know, but by international standards, I mean, almost invisible, unfortunately. And it was very distributed. Um, if the British are correct, the majority was coming from uh, KLA uh, 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 guerrillas. And as it later turned out, the KLA was also receiving financial and, and was, military yeah, support. I mean, they were being supported by the CIA nearly uh, in those months. Okay, so that's not to call that genocide is really to insult the victims of the Holocaust. You know, if that's genocide, then the whole world is covered with genocide. In fact, it's kind of striking that right at the same time that Western intellectuals were praising themselves for their magnificent humanitarianism, uh, much worse atrocities were going on right across the border in Turkey. Uh, that's inside NATO, not at the borders of NATO. They were saying, how can we allow this at the borders of NATO? Yeah. How about inside NATO, where uh, Turkey was carrying, uh, had uh, uh, driven several, probably several million Kurds out of their homes, destroyed about 3,500 villages, laid waste to the whole place, every conceivable form of torture and massacre that you can imagine, killed nobody knows how many people. We don't count our victims.